It's a busy morning here on The Morning Crew, and we got a uh, second group of guests joining us in the studio today. We have the seniors from the Jackson High School Competition Cheer Squad joining us in the studio today. So, ladies, go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Hannah Merrill. Hi, I'm McKinley Morris. I'm Kendall Osborne. I'm Taylor Yeager. And I'm Olivia Moore. And you guys are about to take a legendary trip <laughs> yes. heading to the national competition so this has been a journey now this is actually kind of cool because it's the second year you guys have actually qualified for nationals mm -hmm. so this will be the second trip and you guys are the we're just gonna brag on you a little bit the, the only sports program at jackson high school that's gone to two state championships from what, or national two national championships so pretty awesome to hear that so you guys are heading to florida and i think it's this weekend correct Yes. So tell us a little bit about what, what exactly goes in. So what makes competition cheer competition cheer? What is what makes it different from North, like, you know, is it, you know, and you guys, you guys are on the game day, there's a game day category. Is that what you yeah. compete yeah. in? So what's different between like what you see, like when, if you have ever watched competition cheer on television versus what you guys do for the game day stuff? What is, what is that? So like competition is different because for two minutes and 30 seconds, you have to be perfect. Like if we're on the sideline cheering, it's okay if we mess up here and there. But for two minutes and 30 seconds, we really have to try to make everything perfect. And you can't go back and fix your mistakes. Right. You have to do everything perfect. Awesome. And so, uh, and this will be, is it, it's, it's set to music. So it's a, it's a, it's a, cause it's a combination of the actual cheers that you would do at a game and then some of the stunting and some music stuff as well. So what, what, what can we expect from the, from the program itself? Any ideas? So, um, while we were competing, like Kendall said, it's two minutes and 30 seconds. We start off with a band chant, which is a song that you would hear the band play at a regular football game. And then we do a chant, which is a sideline cheer. And then we do our regular cheer, where it's I-R-O-N-M-E-N, we're still Ironman. Right. And then we go to the fight song. So, we're really excited. And how many of you guys are there total? Is there how many on the team, in the squad? 23. 23, 23 of you total. Yeah. So, and where does it take place? It's in Orlando, I know that. Orlando. So. So, it's close to Universal. So, so around yeah. the Universal area. So, <laughs> yeah. and, and now, is it something if, and you guys, I don't know if you guys would know this, so coaches, maybe you guys could chime in. Is it something that people want to check it out online? Are they able to watch it online since obviously yeah, not everybody be, can be there? It'll be broadcasted live for a Okay. And do you know that you guys on the website by chance or wherever they can catch it? Okay, we'll get it on the Facebook yeah. page, so check it out. So we'll make sure we get that shared with you as well. And so you guys are competing. What what day do you actually compete? Saturday and Sunday. So compete Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. and this is the national championship. So what did it take to get there? How many times did you guys have to win? What did it take to, to get this far? Other than a lot, how many you guys have all been doing this? How many since I'm assuming most of you since you were Pee Wee cheerleaders? Yeah. So um, what does it take to get to this level? How did how did you get there? Um. So. When you go to competitions, you get bids. Okay. So our first one, we just got like half bid. So it wasn't fully paid for. But our second competition, we got a full paid bid, which pays for like our entry fee awesome. into the competition. Awesome. Which makes it a lot cheaper for us. Uh, yes, considerably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> considerably cheaper. And how many competitions did you guys do this year? Six. So there was yeah. I know you guys are really busy this year, and I, of course I get the chance to announce the, the the boys basketball games and stuff. So I had the chance to see the program after not long after you guys did that, and I think that really helped having the having the the crowd to cheer you guys on and participate because that obviously is a big part of it. Is that is the crowd participation is that part of your scoring process in the midst of that, or is it? I don't think it's the scoring, but it definitely helps like us. And oh us yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Feedback like it's. Awesome. So again, it's this weekend. The uh, is it, it's a merit cheer, right? Is that is that the corporate yes. merit cheer nationals in Orlando and our very own Jackson High School competition cheer squad going to be competing? And uh, we'll have the information for you that on our Facebook page. We'll get it uploaded this later on this weekend, so you can check it out. But they'll be competing Saturday and Sunday from Orlando. So if you see them out and about, cheer them on. Wish them good luck. And ladies, do a great job and make us proud as we know you will. Thanks for stopping in this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, lots more coming up on Mix ninety six FM right now. How about some Daryl Hall and John Oates? It's out of touch. <laughs>